just a quick stream on my lunch break, guys. Hey Moxie, what's up? It was just a really quick lunch a stream because I'm on my lunch break from work, so. See if maybe I can get lucky and get the uh, black dragon heart. Play.
<laughs> wow, VR game. <laughs> Lovely. Greetings. Be careful. Lovely. 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 Lovely.
Lovely. Lovely. Lovely. Lovely. Lovely.
Yeah, it's a quest to get a... The Black Drake's Heart, it's a quest. The drop rate off these guys is extremely low, but... I can't kill the elites, so... Here we are. They want my fire protection potion. Lasted for a while. Plus, it would be nice to get some flame sacks. Just turned your mold. Oh, congrats! Congratulations, Seraphic level 60, un immortal. Nice. You get the mount, you get the title. Very nice. Yeah, I can't remember what that mount is. It's like the... I don't have a different mount. <laughs> Fat. Watching the stream on your headset, and now I just want a WoW VR game. I don't know how you're going to set up a WoW VR game, but... But all good. First person, yeah. There's a challenge on here. You can. There's a challenge on here where you have to play. Where you have to play first person the entire time. We throw our challenge without any point applying a talent point. Here, tunnel vision. Complete the hardcore challenge entirely in first person view. Upon logging in, zoom your camera into first person and never zoom out again. So you would have to play the whole. <laughs> Can you imagine? You'd have to play all the way to 60 like this. Let's try it. Well, it's so hard to see depth, though. You can't really see... Man... Definitely a lot more dangerous. Holy shit. Yeah, there's no way I would want to do this. Lovely. God. Lovely. Yeah, no thank you. I could never do that. <laughs> you know what I mean? That would be a big no. <laughs> no thank you. Yeah, if you were going to do the first person, you wouldn't want to do melee because that's like, man, you're just up in the up in your grill like I was right there. It's just not fun. Lovely. 
lovely. Lovely. You can kiss your ass goodbye. Lovely, lovely. Yeah, you'd have to be like something at range, you know, where the mob's not right in your face. Why am I using a dagger? Why wouldn't I use a dagger? Dagger's fast. I'm a, I'm a fury warrior dual wield, so why would you? You want a fast weapon in your offhand to generate rage. But, you know, if you don't like it and you think you can play the warrior better, Momentous, you can certainly, uh, you know, feel free. Roll a level 1 hardcore warrior, level yourself to 60. And then you can tell us all about it. Lovely. Lovely. You can kiss your ass goodbye. Boom. Boom up boom. You can kiss your ass goodbye. Yeah, I'm the Easter girl, the one from, yeah, from, from, uh, God, what's the instance name? From Nomer. Yeah, and they just use it to proc the attack speed. Oh, nice whiff on the shield bash. What is going on? Combat. Why am I in combat for so long?
Lovely. You can kiss your ass goodbye. Ooh. Lovely. <laughs> it can be really scary. Yeah. But I mean, it's meant to get your attention. I mean, it's... Yeah, Zeracotl is a total badass. Like, on my other warriors that I leveled to 60 without dying, he actually almost killed that warrior. Because he hits ridiculously hard. He hits for over 400 damage per hit. So, you know, you're talking like five hits and you're dead, basically. Yo! Mm -mm. <laughs> Lovely.
Yeah, the, yeah, that's yeah. The Fell Reaver's a bastard. Well, we've all probably died to the Fell Reaver at one point or another. What's on your mind? Watch your back. Not Fell River? Hellfire Peninsula, Burning Crusade. Oh, you know what region this is? Oh, this is the, oh, sorry, this is the Badlands. I thought you meant like what region was the uh, Fell River he was talking about in. Yeah, this is the Badlands. Badlands is bad? What? <laughs> Why is Badlands? Because it's called Badlands? The Badlands. Give me someone I can talk Light to. Be with you. Uh, Aquamarine, don't need that. Farewell. Much appreciated. Hello. Farewell. Snowflakes are falling in the morrow. Torrents and Mogor all dressed like gnomes. From Barrens to Elwyn to Silver Pine, there's just one thing on our minds. 
With every zone, with every quest, I hope you'll make it with no deaths. Cause it won't feel like Christmas without fresh. Buffing each other with mistletoe. Gingerbread cookies with milk that's ice cold. And storm wind is covered in Christmas lights. This is the game of our time. And every zone is packed with players all day. Just watching all that old vanilla singing. As a rock is filled with holiday cheer. Christmas in Westfall this year. With every zone. What camera add on is it? It's just built into Classic Wow. Just create a macro for it. Right here. It's built into the 1.14 client. Yeah, no problem. Lovely. 
Yeah, why? What, what, what else would I use? Doesn't everybody use their thumb for the space bar? <laughs> Help you find something? Is there another but uh, I don't know. Be careful. Wow, someone who's, who's in a guild that isn't a hardcore guild. It's, it's so rare, actually, to see somebody on this server who's in a guild that is not a hardcore guild. Use a spacebar with your nose. <laughs> that works, right? TV, you can use the first, second finger together if you don't have, you have to be quick. Avoid overuse. I don't know. What... Um, okay, I never have any issues with, with pain in my thumb. I, so I'm not really sure why I would want to use something else. Really? I played about 20 years. I played tennis for about 20 years. And I play guitar now. And so my left thumb is actually really, really strong. <laughs> From like guitar and other things. Not what you're thinking. <laughs> but yeah, I know. I mean, no. It's all good. I've never had any pain in that thumb. The only pain I ever get is in my forearm, my right forearm, and that's from playing guitar, playing tennis, and then I'm a computer programmer, so I'm always on the computer. Like, I'm on the computer like entirely too much. So I do get pain in my right wrist, my right forearm. But I have different things I do to alleviate that, you know. I've got a compression sleeve I wear on my right forearm if, if the pain starts to get really bad. Uh, I have a wrist immobilization thing that I put on at night sometimes when I sleep at night. Just like immobilize my wrist so it doesn't move at all. You know? <laughs> yeah, you, sh you should have seen me in college, dude. In college, I was in a dart league, a volleyball league, a volleyball league, a basketball league, a racquetball league. I think that was it. <laughs> I was in so many, so many leagues in college. Wasn't in a tennis league, though. I don't know why I'm killing these guys. I just, I see somebody in front of me and I just want to kill them, you know? <laughs> yeah, I mean, the, but honestly, like, to be honest, But to be honest, I like, like where I hit the space bar is literally in my, my, my big knuckle. Like, you know, like not my knuckle near my, the end of my thumb, but the knuckle down near my palm. So I literally am hitting the space bar almost with my knuckle, if that makes sense. You know what I mean? I mean, I hit it with the middle of my finger, but I hit it between the two knuckles of my thumb. So Cyrus, what do you want? The cat's getting on my, not my nerves here. What? Come on. You want out? What? Go on. No, you can't sit in my lap right now. All right? You can't do it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> I was in martial arts for a few years, but that was a while ago. Oh, how did I not aggro I did? I was going to say, how did I not aggro that guy? Good fast weapon. <laughs> now these guys are pretty low level, so I should be all right. I also have this level thirty nine priest. He had to heart that because someone was at his door. That's pretty funny.
No, I'm I'm herb. Herbalism and alchemy. I didn't feel like doing engineering. I hate I hate leveling mining. It's annoying as hell. Lovely. <laughs> when I'm in bed, you use it. I hardly ever use I'm really bad. I actually let my health get down to like 15%, 20% all the time, which is actually really bad, but it, only because I know the specific mobs I'm fighting are... You know, I know the kind of burst damage they can do. Against mobs I'm not familiar with, I wouldn't do that. I would try to keep myself more topped off. Um. Just because it's hardcore.
I use strength potions when I have them. I just don't have any right now. I've got a strength scroll up, though. What are some of those mobs you would be scared to fight at 15 hours in? You got a 35 hardcore druid? Go it. Nice. Um, any, any mob that has instant cast, like there's some mobs that do like, um, like there's trolls that have, uh, that have the shield, you know, like the enhancement shaman shield, whatever it's called, that lightning shield, like any, <laughs> trolls that have like a lightning shield, I would be very careful with any kind of a spell caster. Especially one that has any kind of an in instant cast spells, you'd be careful with. Um, any demon. Never let your health get low against any demon. Never let your health get low against any ghoul or undead. Some, I mean, if you're really familiar with which ghoul, like, you know, obviously the ice ghouls that can put you in a block of ice and kill you. Um, you never want your health to get low against a ice ghoul. You never want to let your health get low against a, a flaming ghoul because of the AoE flame attack. Um, you never want to get your health low against anybody that's got any kind of a CC. If, if they have any kind of a stun ability. Even a bear. Like, if you're up against a high-level bear, you don't let your health get low. Because if he knocks you to the ground, he may he may take you out before you can get up and do something, you know? So, uh, But against typical, against, you know, against mobs, like, you know, he, against beasts, you're pretty safe. Usually beasts don't have any of that kind of stuff, except for the bears, like I said. I, well, you know, maybe like a, a chill wind, whatever they're called, in uh, winter spring. You know, the breath attack, those can actually hit really, really hard. So, you know, basically those are the types of times where you, you have to be careful. Be careful. I'm not going to do that Take quest. Honor, right? At least not right now. That is entirely not a quest I want to do. Go with honor, friend. What can I do for you? Have a good one. Yeah, again, you got to be careful. I mean, Nagas, Nagas, Demons, and Undead. Those three mob types are very dangerous, so don't mess around with those mobs. Uh, also, Spiders can be a pain in the butt just simply because they can root you and their poisons can be surprisingly damaging. So Spiders can sometimes be a little tricky. Uh, but yeah, that's most of them. And then, of course... Of course, it's just a bad habit to keep let your health get really low because you never know when there might be like a rare mob or... Maybe a stealth mob comes out of stealth that you're not aware of. It's in that specific area. Maybe like a shadow mob panther or something. Or, or any kind of a rogue type mob, you know. But typically, because I know the game pretty well, you know, I know where the mobs spawn. And I've played the game since 2004. You know, I don't worry too much. But I do have a bad habit of letting my health get too low. And uh, it's probably going to bite me in the butt. Knock on wood. Probably going to bite me in the butt one of these days. My hearth is not up, and I have to go back to work. This is just my lunch break, so I'm just... In this, I've been on the stream for about an hour, so i got to go back to work. Um, but thanks, yeah, thanks for stopping by watching, guys. Um, I'm actually halfway to 43, so that's Light pretty good. So we knocked out. I mean, I think I was only like a bar in, maybe, this morning. I did a little bit of playing right before I logged on, then I did some playing now on my lunch break. And knocked out a few quests. So I'm going to log out here. And then I'll log back in and like, I don't, ugh, in like 30 minutes or 40 minutes, just hearth to my, my hearth location, which right now is Darkshire. Yeah, see ya, Moxie. Good luck with all you people leveling your hardcore characters. Yeah, it's, I think the warrior though is a pain. Like this level for the warrior is, oh, I think any, I talked about it yesterday, but I think any hardcore character, when you get to like level 30 it's just like that 30 to 45 i think is the hardest grind ain't no problem zane i think that's the hardest grind like 30 to 45 because you're like you know it starts to slow down xp wise you get into these areas like 30 especially with a hardcore warrior where the quests are they're not really that easy i mean you're hitting you're killing mobs that are like your level or higher and if you get more than just one of them on you it, you know you're, it can be difficult you can you, you can get two mobs on you and it can be especially if one of them is a caster and you can find your health evaporating really quickly. Um, but once you get to around level 45, especially me, let me show you really quickly, especially because of the way my character is built right now, you know, when, at 45 you start to get a lot more quests to open up to you. There's also some really good grinding areas that open up around level 45, but specifically for me because of my, my build, like, 
you know, I'm because I go into tactical mastery and overpower. You know, I'm not that far down into the Fury Tree. I don't have any flurry yet. In fact, I've only got 21 points, so I need to put four more points in here, which are probably going to be probably most of them. Most of them are going to go into dual wield specialization. I might throw one point to execute. I don't know, but we got to go four more levels before we even get to flurry. So that'll put me at 46. So I'll be level 47 before I even have one point into Flurry. So for me, like my character, like really the damage for the Fury Warrior doesn't really truly come online until you get a, until you get five out of five on Flurry. So so we're talking nine more levels. So if you think about it from that point, this this build is kind of a shitty build because like if you want to level more quickly, you'd want to just do Fury. Like don't even put anything into arms. Just go. I mean, I'd already have like Bloodthirst. You know, we'd be completely full in fury already but because i like to stand stance i like to switch stances and because i like overpower um i like to to, to grab this i like to grab overpower and, and uh tactical mastery because without tactical mastery i can't really switch into defensive stance and throw up a shield block you know as easily as i like to and that and then in certain situations that can be extremely useful also even being able to like switch into berserker stance and do a pummel to interrupt a spell cast can be a can be a lifesaver there could be a mob casting a shadow bolt, and I'm at like, you know, 5% health. And if I didn't have tactical mastery, and I weapon swap, and I, you know, and uh, I was worried that maybe I couldn't equip my shield fast enough. I don't know. And there's any number of things, right? But any of them. I mean, if I go into my shield, if I go use my shield, I've got to go into defensive stance. Um, actually, I don't. I don't. Um, there, there is one flaw. There is one flaw in my in the way I have my, my character set up right now, and that's that... Actually, it's not really a flaw. So, like, let's say I'm fighting a mob and I want to throw in a shield block with my shield bash. All I have to do is use my macro that clips my shield. So, you know, here, it's just, you know, I can easily, like, switch between shield. So it's not really a flaw. So, but if I do want to switch stances, or if I am, like, let's say I'm in Berserker stance, and I want, for whatever reason, I want to switch into the battle stance, um to get off my execute. Although you can do execute and berserker stance. But there just are situations, <laughs> I'm not making a good example. There are good situations where you're gonna want a little bit of, of rage so that you can switch stances. And I like to have that, so that's why I build into Tactical Mastery for early on. Do I, do you still, lots of horses are gonna macro it? Um, what do you, are you, what do you mean? Do I macro hero? What are you saying? Do you steal lots of heroic strikes or macro? I just spam the button for a stroke heroic strike, you know. Because I don't want to use heroic strike if I don't want to use heroic strike. Okay, so heroic strike's on my A key. But you'll see me just spamming A a lot. You know. The other thing is, what's the other thing I was going to show you? There was one other thing. can't remember now. Yeah, I mean, you use, I mean, basically, uh, Heroic Strike is your Rage Dump. That's how you're basically getting rid of your Rage, you know, because you, you, if you end up with excess Rage, it just depends, though, like, right? It depends on what I'm doing. Like, you certainly don't want to use Execute if you have, like, if you've got, like, you know, 60 Rage or something, or how, what's the max Rage on this? Is it 100? If you've got, like, you know, half a bar of Rage and the mob's ready for Execute, don't Execute them. You're just going to Heroic Strike, break, kill them down, and save your rage for the next mob. Um, there was something else I was going to say, and I just cannot remember what it was. But anyways, it is, it's just really painful. Like, there's times, like, I like to switch into, even into, into Berserker Stance just to throw up Berserker's Rage. So even if, like, especially if I get two mobs on me, because Berserker's Rage is supposed to basically help you generate rage faster when you're getting hit. So if all of a sudden two mobs jump me, I might want to switch into Berserker, throw up Berserker's Rage, then switch back to Battle Stance or switch into Defensive Stance, you know, pop off a Shield Block, you know. So, and again, but I mean, just switching back, you can see, switching back between these stances, I'm not losing any of my Rage, you know, because of Tactile Mastery. 
Um, so that's, you know, and, and even like switching into Berserker Stance to use your intercept ability, right? That might be something you might want to use. You might want to intercept a mob just because they're casting like a big ass spell. So you're going to switch to Berserker Stance because you can't interrupt at range, right? Well, you couldn't until you get intercept. So that's another kind of reason why Tactical Mastery is actually pretty good. And switching does, you do lose all your rage. Right? Like, not in retail, I don't think, anymore. But in, in this, right? Like, you lose all of it. <laughs> like, if you don't have Tactical Mastery, and you switch, and you've got, like, a half a bar of rage, you know, and you switch to, like, Berserker Stance, all your rage is gone. It's gone. So, uh, that's why you need Tactical Mastery. I buy and trade. I really need mystery meat. I don't know. Yes, anger management will generate one rage every three seconds. Anger management will generate one rage every three seconds, and it's a hidden. It is hidden, yeah. Yeah. I think it's one rage every three seconds, though. I don't think it's every second. So, it's not a lot, but, you know, it's it's nice. But, you know, with my build. Oops. So there's like my build at 52, right? And then whether or not you want to finish out dual wield or maybe put some points in execute, that's really a personal choice. Um, you know, you could do something like, actually, I wouldn't do that. We go ahead, I would go ahead and grab, grab that. But I mean, this would be kind of like my end build for this particular character. But yeah, any rage is welcome. Sure. I don't think. I think with fury, once you get like. You know, once you get fast weapons, like, building rage isn't really an issue. Like, some some jabroni came into the stream earlier, and he's like, why are you why are you using a dagger? And I'm like, why am I using a dagger? Because in my offhand, this 1.4 second dagger is building rage super fast. You know, like, in fact, if I want to really build rage fast, I'll use both my daggers, right? The problem is I don't do as much damage with dual daggers, but it's really good at building rage. Check this out. You know, you can see I'm, I'm up to like 60. Look, look at my rage. It's already up to like 73. And then I can switch to my heavy weapons, my slow ass weapons and just, you know, heroic strike. And you can see there 323 crit. But yeah, I mean, if I want to really build rage super fast, like that's why also when I go into usually when I go into shield, when I go into shield, it's because usually I'm trying to mitigate damage or I'm trying to get off some interrupts. Um, especially earlier on when you don't have when you don't have pummel, and of course at that point I want my dagger because I want rage. I don't care about damage. When I go into shield and, and and whatever other weapon, I don't care about damage. I'm trying to mitigate damage, so that's why I go to a dagger. So I'm trying to build up enough rage so I can get off like overpowers, shield block, demoralizing shout, and then once I get everything out that I want, then I switch back to my DPS setup. So I, I you know I typically have like I've got three. You know I've got my my dagger, my shield. I've got my mace, which is like a 2.5 attack speed, and my dagger, which is the thing I use for most most of my combat, is this setup. And then when I have a shit ton of rage, and I have a lot of health, I'll just switch onto these weapons here, which are 2.8 main. I think it's 2.8, 2.8 attack speed main weapon, and a 2.7 offhand. And these I just are just to dump my heroic strikes out and do a ton of damage. What's a good your rotation for leveling when PV when farming um well the rotation I use is like this hold on a second okay sorry just doing some work stuff 
So like usually, I'll show you my rotation when I'm just grinding mobs. I'm gonna charge. I'm gonna demoralizing shout. A lot of times I'll do a ram, but you don't have to. Then I'm gonna wait until my main hand weapon swings. I'm gonna stand switch. I'm gonna throw up Berserker's Rage. I'm gonna wait till my main hand weapon swings. And then I'm gonna sw switch back to, you know, so let me try to talk you through it again. Hold on a second. I typically will watch. I don't use swing meters because I've, I, you know, I know I've played WoW enough. I kind of can tell by the animations where my swings are going and when. But like, so I'll just do charge, demoralizing shout, maybe rend, you know, then I might switch to Berserker stance. Once I know Berserker's Rage is available, I'll go to Berserker's Rage. Maybe throw in like a Sunder Armor if I want. And then I'll switch back to Battle Stance. You know, here we just we can just execute. Um, but we don't have to switch. Like, we don't have to go to... to I mean, the Berserker's Rage isn't really that great unless you get getting hit with a lot of mobs. So you don't have to switch if you don't want. You can just do something like Charge, Demoralizing Shout. Make sure that your Battle Shout's up at all times. Rend. And then what I usually do is Sunder. But at this point, Sunder. Right? And here, based on the rage I have now, I'm just going to Heroic Strike or Execute, right? So you just have to really know when to Heroic Strike. When, Like, use Heroic Strike to set up your Execute. Or just to dump rage when you've just got a shit ton of rage, right? But don't Heroic Strike... Like, don't Heroic Strike early in the fight. Like, you want to use Sunder to weaken the enemy. Because trust me, it'll, it'll, it'll help. You're going to bring the mobs down faster if you throw in a few Sunders. Especially against mobs that have a lot of armor, like a turtle or, you know, a bear or something like that. Then, you know, you definitely want to use Sunders. And then the other thing, too, is obviously, you know, if you're going up against a caster, uh, you know, the combat's going to be completely different because you're thinking about interrupts. So against this guy here, I'm going to charge. Demoralizing Shout. I'm going to use, use my Rage ability. Wait till my main hand swings. Switch. The Circus Rage. Wait till my main hand swings. Switch back. I'm going to use a couple Sunders. And execute, right? The only reason I get the Sunders in there is because when I go for like the heroic strikes or the execute, they just they hit quite a bit harder. Um, and you can test you can test that out too. Um, like go into recount and look at your DPS and just test it out. Like reset recount, kill like a bunch of mobs where you don't use and you don't have to use Sunder. Like there's people that'll say that you do better. Like when you when you get to the point where you're generating a lot more rage. You don't need Sunder as much, okay? Um, at this level, it's kind of good. It kind of it's it's really kind of iffy. But when you're getting like when you're generating a ton of rage, just using heroic strikes is gonna kill the mob faster, right? Like let's say here, I just I just heroic strike everything, right? Heroic strike, heroic strike, you know, heroic strike. You know that that also probably like you can see 86 DPS, right? And then I do this. Maybe throw in like one Sunder. Yeah, we'll throw in two and then we'll Heroic Strike. You know, and, and the only reason there I did the 104 DPS is because of the Execute. But it's really, it's not, it's not an exact science. You know, it really comes down to just like what type of mob are you fighting? You know, do they have a lot? It, really, if they have a lot of armor, that's when you want to Sunder. Against humanoids or against beasts, Sunder I don't think is as important. I just do it out of habit, but it's not necessarily... I don't want to tell you it's the best thing to do, because it may not be the best thing. You may be able to just take them down by using Heroic Strike faster. Well um, met. So, Same my advice problem. would be just to play around with it. You know, use Recount, look at the damage. Take a look at, like, like after you have a couple Sunders against a mob, take a look at how much your Heroic Strikes are doing, and then take a look at how much they're doing without two Sunders on the target. You know, and... Uh, yeah. It's all good. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, just just play around with it, and test it out. But make sure you know the most important thing is make is your is re getting your macro set up. You know, like like when I use my uh, shield block, it's automatically going to put me a defensive stance. Like if I were to use hamstring here, you can see it says requires battle stance. But if I my, my macro is going to do it for me, so it's going to switch me to the battle stance. If I'm in defensive stance, oops, I think I did. I just hit shield wall. <laughs> I did. If I'm a, so <laughs> I I fat fingered shield wall there. Um, if I uh, am in defensive stance like I am here, and I want to charge a mob, you know, obviously my macro is going to do that for me. You can see it's going to switch me to battle stance. 
if I'm in a defensive stance and what's another one? I'm trying to think if there's any others. But really, that's really about it. Yeah, I think that's most of them. Yeah, yeah, you don't want a fat finger though. <laughs> I just do that because I'm like, I'm not sitting in my chair the way I normally would. I'm kind of like leaning up against the desk right now because I'm tired. Like if I was playing, I would be sitting back in my chair. So my hands are in a different position on the keyboard than it normally is. That's why I kind of fat finger that. But yeah, but I mean, you can do like, like for like the other thing that's really interesting is is taking a look at the damage. This is not a private server. This is retail. This is retail classic, level one to sixty classic era. The other thing that's interesting is <clears throat> is the damage based on what weapons you're using. Like, so right now I've got a 2.5 weapon speed main hand, and I've got a 1.4 offhand. So I think of the Fury Warrior a lot, almost like a almost like a rogue with a slow main hand, fast offhand. But you can actually, when you get enough, when you get later on, you get enough rage, you can actually go with more of a slow offhand, you're and you're going to do a lot of damage, a lot of damage. So here, if you look, I'm using my 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 2.5 main hand and my 1.4 off, and let's just. Let's just throw heroic strikes in here. I probably shouldn't have used my blood rage though. All right, we're doing 149 damage, right? With my heroic strike, 146, 149, right? 147, very consistent. Now, if I if I throw on my slow ass main hand, hundred sixty, right? Hundred seventy nine. So it hits a lot harder. But my rage generation is going to be really, really slow. Look at that. And then the crits. Crits are bigger, so... Anyways. So, in most cases, the slow main hand is always going to... You're always going to do more damage with a slow main hand than, than a fast. Um, but, again, like when I said, when I'm switching to a shield, I want a fast main hand because I want rage so I can do stuff like shield block, disarm. A lot of times I'll be switching to a shield because I want to disarm the, the opponent. Like... Especially if I'm going up against ogres and they're using these big two-hand maces that just hit so hard. Greetings. Like, let's say my health's forty percent, and I'm level like what level I am now, forty-two. And let's say I'm taking on level forty-two ogre, and he's got a two-hand mace. If I'm at forty percent and he's got a two-hand mace, I'm gonna disarm him because he can crit with that two-hand mace and it can hurt. So I'll switch to switch to my defensive stance, and I will look for the disarm. Once I get the disarm, I'll switch back to battle stance. I'll switch back to my dual weapons and then I'll look to, you know, to get off a heroic strike and execute. Yeah, it just, yeah, it's weird. Like, like, Sunder's good against certain, it's good against certain mobs. It's good against long fights where, you know, the fight's going to last really long. But if, but if you know you can take a mob down in like two heroic strikes and execute, then Sunder's probably not even worth it. Classic Warrior Macros by Mushu. All right, stoic. I'll have to check that out. I'll have to check that out. I mean, I've I most I've got most of the macros I need. Um, you know, like most of my macros are pretty like my charge macro here, execute, you know, overpower, pummel. Uh, you know, like I said, hamstring. Or I've, I've got macros for most, almost everything. A lot of them is just clearing errors out off the UI because I don't like to see errors. Um, you know. And you said that guy's name was Classic Warrior Macros? I've gone over. Twenty years have disappeared. We're older and more wise, but our favorite day is coming. For the hunter and darling, it's fresh. Getting happy about a shadow. Yeah, I'll check it out. I'll check out the. Uh, I'll check that out, Stoic. And anyways, I'll catch you guys later. I gotta do some work. I uh, hope you guys have a good day. Peace out.